Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. FAA establishes restrictions on drone operations over DOJ and USCG facilities. Changes made in Drone Innovation Act of 2017. And Parrot launches a Navi 4K HDR camera drone. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. At the request of federal security partners, the FAA has been using its existing authority under Title 14 of the Code Federal Regulations, Section 99.7, Special Security Instructions, to address concerns about drone operations over national security-sensitive facilities by establishing temporary unmanned aircraft system specific flight restrictions. Information on the FAA Notice to Airmen, which defines these restrictions and all the currently covered locations, can be found on our website. To ensure the public is aware of these restricted locations, this FAA website also provides an interactive map, downloadable geospatial data, and other important details. A link to these restrictions is also included in the FAA's Before You Fly mobile app. Additional broader information regarding flying drones in the National Airspace System, including frequently asked questions, is available on the FAA's UAS website. In cooperation with DOJ and DHS, the FAA is establishing additional restrictions on drone flights up to 400 feet within the lateral boundaries of specific federal facilities. These changes, which have been highlighted by FAA Notice to Airmen FDC 8-8653, are pending until they become effective on June 20th. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Boeing has made an investment in Kitty Hawk a San Francisco, California-based company offering a unified approach to the safe operation of commercial unmanned aircraft systems. Kitty Hawk's technology will support development of a UAS traffic management system that enables piloted and autonomous air vehicles to safely coexist. Kitty Hawk pioneered enterprise software and mobile-based apps that integrate real-time UAS flight operations and management solutions all in one platform. Drone Delivery Canada and Toyota Two Show Canada have signed an agreement to collaborate on a drone delivery logistics platform. Under the agreement, TTCI will participate in a Drone Delivery Canada's commercial pilot program in Canada as an initial stage. Collectively, the two groups will look to commence flight testing and identify other international markets to deploy DDC's proprietary drone delivery platform as a transportation solution. Axon and DJI have announced an exclusive partnership with the digital evidence management industry to sell DJI drones directly to public safety and law enforcement agencies worldwide through the new Axon Air program. The partnership was announced at the third annual Axon Accelerate Conference for more than 1,500 police, security, legal, and technology professionals from around the world. The Airborne Unmanned video team interviewed Aerobatics at Expo 18. The company provides an end-to-end -end fully automatic solution for collecting aerial data. The industrial-grade platform is available on-site and on-demand, enabling industrial facilities to access premium aerial data. Check out the feature on our Airborne Unmanned video channel by searching Aero TV No Humans Required Aerobotics Autonomous Industrial Drones. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. The sponsor of the Drone Innovation Act of 2017, introduced a year ago in the U.S. House of Representatives, has provided details in the bill summary for the proposed legislation. The bill was introduced by Representative Jason Lewis. The initial bill summary indicated that the bill would direct the DOT to publish a civil unmanned aircraft local operation policy framework in the Federal Register. The language has been expanded to explain that the framework shall provide guidelines to standardize restrictions on the operation of drones, 
and create an environment that encourages innovation and fosters the rapid integration of drones into the national airspace system. DOT shall establish pilot programs to provide technical assistance to governmental entities for regulating the operation of drones. DOT shall not authorize the operation of drones in local airspace above property where there is a reasonable expectation of privacy without the property owner's permission. The bill specifies that no later than six months after the date of the enactment of this act, the Secretary of Transportation shall, after consultation with the state, local, and tribal officials and other appropriate stakeholders, publish a civil unmanned aircraft local operational policy framework in the Federal Register. The bill has not yet been scheduled for consideration in the U.S. House. Parrot has announced Sanofi, a diminutive foldable drone. Its forearms fold and unfold in less than three seconds. The Parrot Sky Controller 3 remote controller unfolds in one second and automatically connects to Anafi. Via carbon fiber hollow glass micro B construction, Anafi weighs in at only 11.2 ounces. Anafi uses a USB C charging system. Its 4K HDR camera is equipped with a 21 megapixel sensor and a 3 axis stabilization system with 180 degrees vertically rotating camera and a lossless zoom up to 2.8 times. Flight times of 25 minutes are possible using a smart battery. Anafi's camera is mounted on a gimbal stabilized on three axes, while the stabilized gimbal makes it possible to achieve a vertical tilt of negative 90 degrees to 90 degrees. Anafi is equipped with a lossless zoom of 1.4 times in 4K and 2.8 times in Full HD. In addition, Anafi is equipped with a dual band antenna to ensure optimal connection with the Parrot Sky Controller 3. Anafi monitors its Wi-Fi environment in order to switch channels when the one it uses becomes crowded. This boosts optimal spectrum utilization performance and allows Anafi to fly up to 2.48 miles. Anafi will be in stores beginning July 1, 2018, at a price of $699. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.